Now, shops belonging to foreigners, mostly Nigerians, continue to be under lock and key at the Opera Square in Accra. The shops numbering about 72, according to Guta, flout section 27 of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, the GIPC Act 865. This is Opera Square in Accra Central, the hub of electrical materials. Traders here are both indigenous and foreigners. Foreigners involved in retail business is in a bone of contention. Guta members are not infused about foreigners, especially Nigerians, dealing in retail business. Our first port of call Tuesday was at the car lane, where five shops belonging to a Chinese had been closed. Salespersons of the shop said even though the closure would affect them, they believe the right thing needs to be done. I work with the Chinese. When they came and closed the shop, uh, it will bring some distraction here and there. But I think that the right thing should be done so that the laws of the nation must be obeyed. Some of the owners who were told complied with the directive to close down their shops by themselves while others were forced. Some of them they were good to close it, but some of them too were trying to fight with us. But the, our leaders told us we shouldn't harm anyone. Closing it will make them aware that we are serious about what we are saying. At Cow Lane, near the Fred Up Hotel area, five shops, all belonging to Nigerians, were closed. Salespersons guarded, hoping the situation would be resolved so they get back to work. We were told even though their shops had been closed, they were still operating from their wholesale shops. Some electrical dealers told the news team they small to the issue than what Guta is fighting for. Customer Kumasi. Now, what flow now? I saw Penyama now. Why any man in our package? Even what throw? Nidin no Magoon. Among my boys, Jedna, car park, error in Sparkle. The Nigerians take over customers from us. They call our customers and give the product to them at cheaper price. Who bob a price? Nippon bob price in so much as oh. And on my money, say, no matter it is to their man. Put your stone more, a drew time and also a penny drew her normal so hundred thousand of a mobile at the entire now Nigeria for no Buhane, yes, to free stone. The Nigerians offer landlords huge sums for the shops, and so the landlords eject us even when our time is not up. You know, one woman have been opportunity of a better stone now. We're gonna now with stone one year two or the idea of a bar or because he had ten cities. Because they are in the retail business with us, people do not buy from us. In all, about 72 shops were closed. Well, interestingly, on the other part of the story, we understand that Nigeria's uh, land borders will continue to be closed to trade until at least January 31st. That is January 31, 2020, and that was from the customs spokesperson, and he says that this will be in phases, and so we'll be giving you more in our subsequent bulletins. You can also check 3news.com for more.